In my last video, I taught everyone how to run a really powerful 24-7 Minecraft server with 100 gigabytes of RAM for free. If you'd like to know how to run that server, click the video in the description. A lot of people in my last video wanted to know how to install mods, plugins, and worlds, so this is how to do it. So what you need to do is you need to go to filezilla-project.org and click download filezilla client click download filezilla client again all you really need to click is the first one once finished installing click on it click i agree anyone who uses this computer click next make sure all of these are enabled except you don't need to enable desktop icon click next click next and then install finish and it will start filezilla you're also going to need to do the command sudo yum install perl then it'll say complete. Next, you need to install PuTTY. To do that, type up PuTTY, wait for it to load, click on here, click download PuTTY, and it'll take you to this website. Click on the first link here, wait for it to download. I'm gonna cancel because I've already got it. Um, open the link and go through the different things. Once that's done, search up PuTTY, but don't click on the first one, click on PuTTY Gen. Then click conversions, import key, find wherever your key is and import the key don't do the dot pub key you want the private key which is this one click open once it comes up click save private key click yes save it somewhere um and name whatever you want i'm just going to call it tutorial key and then click save next go to file site manager and click new site name the site whatever you want then change the protocol to SFTP. For the host, you're gonna need to go back to your compute thing, click copy, go back to FileZilla, paste in your host, put the port as 22. The user will be OPC, but you need to change the login type to key file. Click browse, find your downloaded tutorial key file, click open, then click connect. So you're going to need to delete all of the files except for .ssh and .cache and you can also keep the world files, the server.properties files and the whitelist file if you would like. But the rest you want to click delete, click yes, wait for them all to go. By the way, if you have nothing in there, just ignore this stuff. Then go to fabricmc.net slash use slash server slash and copy the CLI download, go back to here and click enter. Then do the command MV space, copy this thing here, click command C, command V, then type server.jar, click enter. It won't do anything, but it has worked. Click clear and then type the command java-xms 100g dash jar server.jar no GUI, enter, it will do its thing. If you'd like to add your own plugins, you can need to install Spigot, Paper, or one of those. Once you've installed one of those, then there'll be a plugins folder. You just open that plugins folder and drag in your plugins. Super simple. It basically works exactly how the mods do, except you don't do fabric. You just use either Paper, Spigot, or Puffer Vist Jar. Let's say I want to install one of my other worlds i go percentage app data percentage open that go down to your minecraft folder open saves and then choose one of your worlds i'm going to choose this one so what i'll do is i'll rename it to world lowercase drag that file in any world files will work it doesn't have to be from the app data folder you can open that and it will come up with the data packs folder if you'd like to install any data packs, you just simply drag them in there. So for example, if I'd like to install my vanilla tweaks data pack, I'll just extract it and get all of these files and simply drag them into here and they will all load up. And then I'll simply just stop the server and then start it again using the command. You can see that it's registered all of the new data packs and it will start up with those data packs. 